everybody this is Mylon with my tech so this evening I'm doing some maintenance on my Can-Am Defender DPS Max which is the crew cab version and uh, this air box basically has the same design across all the Defenders and the Mavericks as well and something I've noticed as I've been doing some smoke testing on different uh, vehicles is that this specific one and I noticed when I pulled my cover off that I did have a little bit of water now I don't know if that is because it was rainwater or if it was when I uh, detailed it with the pressure washer or whatever I don't know if it came in through the top of the snorkel but um, I did assist a client the other day with this seal on the lid there is a small little tiny rinky dink gasket that goes around the outer edge here and what we did is we packed it full of uh, polyurea grease and to, to help seal it because it was leaking so and another thing too if you go to snorkel there's typically a duck bill here and so I just took a, a PVC cap and sealed that off so water can't come in through the duck bill there's different uh, ideologies or theologies behind this whatever you want to say um, but this is the way that I like to do it so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it like this. It's, it's relatively clean. I'm going to clean it up a little bit more. I'm going to put it back on, put the filter back in, and then I'm going to smoke check it to see if I have any leaks here at the seal. And if I do, I'm going to put grease in here rather than replace the seal uh, just because it's convenient and it, and it works. And the thing about grease is it's serviceable uh, if you need to take the cap off rather than using an uh, RTV or silicone. All right. All right, so I'm starting my smoke test here. I got a little masking tape because this top piece isn't sealed, so you're gonna get a little smoke there. But what I wanna see is if I have any other leaks in the engine side, on the intake side. And it looks like I have a very bad leak down here. So I have to figure that out and it also looks like I'm leaking out of the bottom of the airbox lid so I've got to figure out and resolve these one by one stay tuned all right so now I'm just checking the airbox itself to see what if any leaks I have. And it still looks like I have a leak on the back side in between the air box and the throttle body. Oh yeah, right here at the air box. So apparently this is siliconed from the factory. So rather than me take it apart, I'm going to RTV this lip all the way around, let it dry, and then we'll recheck that part there. All right, so now I've RTV'd that seal we're gonna let it set and dry and then we'll smoke check it again all right so I've taken the, the lid off and used this polyurea grease and went around the seal just to give it a little bit of bite so it seals up and this grease will not hurt or harm the seal or any of the plastics or anything and it's also perfect for keeping water out so we'll put that back on actually I found that this is loose so I'm gonna have to take this off and reseal it as well. But then once we get that done, we'll put it back on and we'll recheck it. So now I've redone the duck bill and RTV'd this. 
not clear silicone. Clear silicone is not what you want to use. It does not hold up over time and with water. So we'll let this set up and then we'll install it back on the uh, airbox lid. All right, so now I've taken my riser off for the engine intake while we're letting things dry. And I'm just going to check this pipe end to end. So yeah, I have it plugged on this end and we're gonna introduce smoke on this end using the Redline Pro and Easy Intake adapters. So we're gonna give it some smoke. It looks like we have some coming out here, which is not a huge deal. Because that's up top, and I don't plan to go that deep. But, this ugly monstrosity of silicone that needs to be redone, appears to be sealed. Sometimes it doesn't matter how ugly it is, as long as it doesn't leak. Oh, spoke too soon. So we do have a small leak here. So I'll have to scrape that silicone off and redo that with RTV like I'm supposed to. All right, so I have now resealed this joint, put grease on the airbox, sealed up the duck bill, tightened that clamp and added some RVT around around the outside of that. All right, so now we're going to smoke test this. Looking good so far.